Hey guys, I'm Matt in the hat. I'm actually wearing a hat today. What a concept, I know. In other news, um, sorry for not showing my face for a while, but to be fair, I do look like the human incarnation of a dumpster, so I'm just kind of sparing you, honestly. <laughs> um, but anyway, today I want to talk to you about masculinity, femininity, gender roles, and their roles in my life. So, first of all, what are gender roles, for those of you who don't know? Um, to put it simply, they're essentially what society believes is okay for a male to do, and what is okay for a female to do. What is acceptable by uh, social norms. So, why is it that when someone is cooking or baking, that's a feminine thing, and all the cooking and baking things are modeled with women, but then if it's a grill, which is the same thing except outside, it's shown by a guy. Or, you know, why is it okay for girls to wear pants, but not okay for guys to wear dresses? When essentially, I mean, originally, in the olden days of white people, women did not wear pants, they only wore dresses. I mean, nowadays that's changed, but it's still not acceptable for a guy to wear a dress. Those are all gender roles. Who wears makeup? Who wears nail polish? Who plays sports? Who's the smart one? Who's better at math? These are all gender roles. And I have to apologize, gender roles are extremely binary, meaning they only accept the idea of a male and a female, which is very much a European thing. In most other cultures, it's believed that there's more than two genders. Native Americans mostly, I've read they thought there were three genders, and in India they believe there are five genders. That, like This idea that there are two genders, that's very much a European thing. It's, it's not how it's always been. Don't let any scientist or historian tell you that's always how it was, because if they tell you that, they're either wrong or lying or both. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little... So, the idea of gender roles is extremely binary, and this is based off of European roles. It's very different, all in different cultures. Um, but anyway, so now that we've got that definition, um, as a trans male, female to male. I've lived both as a feminine presenting assumed female and as a masculine presented assumed male. Since obviously you can't tell what someone's gender is just by looking at them. Um, and as a feminine presenting person when I was younger, I was not allowed to walk on the streets alone. I couldn't be anywhere alone. there was a fear of child molesters and other pedophiles and creeps in general because of the sexualization of females. Now that I look like a guy, um, I look more masculine and everything, that isn't really an issue for me. I'm allowed to walk around the neighborhood by myself, even at night. This is just within my own household that I'm allowed to do these things. Also, when I'm walking alone on the streets at night, if I was a feminine presenting and I was going anywhere by myself, I would like be really, really wary and like afraid and just if anyone, particularly males or masculine presenting people, were anywhere near me. I would, like, walk faster to, like, 
stay away from them because I was afraid that they would do something to me. But now as a masculine presenting person, I'm more afraid of fellow males because, or fellow masculine presenting people because I, I'm afraid that they're going to see something that isn't normal for a guy to do or look like then they're gonna do something to me because of it. But girls, or feminine presenting people, if I'm walking anywhere near them, especially at night, but just in general, they walk faster, they avoid, they'll cross the street to avoid me. And like, while I understand why they do that, it's such a weird thing. Because I would never do anything. So this idea that they think that I would is mind-blowing, and it just, it's kind of upsetting that society is the way that it is to make it that they fear me when uh, I'm not going to do anything to them. I would never dream of doing anything. I'm more afraid of my own safety than, like, I, I couldn't attack someone if I to, because I'd be too afraid that they would turn it around on me, because, like, yeah, I'm a guy, but I'm not a cisgender guy, so I'm almost at more risk. <laughs> um, anyway, that's kind of opened my eyes. Just generally the way people talk to me and act around me is incredibly different. feminine presenting at school, people, like, like, feminine presenting people and girls, they tend to, like, when they pass each other in the hallway, they kind of, like, make room for each other, and they, like, stay out of each other's personal bubble, but masculine presenting people, males, they, like, they, like, they don't, like, bump into each other, but, like, they get really close, like, enough to brush shoulders considering there's more stigma around male homosexual behavior than female homosexual behavior, but, you know. And if I were to wear a rainbow lanyard or something like that, as a feminine presenting person, I would get, like, a little smiles, or maybe I'd get, like, a look of disgust. As a masculine presenting person, when I wore literally just a lanyard, or no, I was wearing a tie, sorry, it was a rainbow tie. This guy just like shoved into me and like, like it was it was very much on purpose, and it kind of hurt. And he was just like, like he didn't say anything. He didn't apologize. He just kept going. He was like barreling past me, and I know it was because he saw my tie. And just walking around that day at school, I got people going. You know, I don't like your kind. Da, 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 da. If I had worn that as a feminine presenting person, I would not have gotten the same response at all. It's really sad that people treat other people differently just because of the way they present themselves. Because I haven't changed as a person. I still have the same body, unfortunately. Like, I didn't 
necessarily, or boys necessarily, I hung out with the smart people. Because I still, to this day, cannot handle being around idiots for very long without getting extremely frustrated. But there's this sort of pressure to be a certain way and fit into this box. Felt that when I didn't identify as anything in particular, you know, I when I was presenting feminine, I could be as masculine or feminine as I wanted, and it was fine. It didn't matter. But as a masculine presenting person, if I'm too feminine, people don't think that I'm a guy. That's really scary because, like, I need that. I, I need to pass. I, I need to look like a masculine person. I need to look like a male. And, like, okay, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, okay, I have earrings. I wear a little bit of jewelry sometimes. Lots of guys do that, and they're not considered less male, but because I'm trans, I'm less male. It, it's, there's a lot of pressures, and for a long time, when I came out as trans, I, like, buried those feminine tendencies, and tried to be, like, super masculine, and, uh, you know, it's not me. side because it, it's me, you know. I, I can't close off a part of myself just because some people won't accept it, but at the same time, I need their acceptance to be safe and to be happy. Like, I shouldn't rely on other people's judgment of me to be happy, but when people don't don't call me he, him, pronouns, things like that. When people think that I'm a girl, that really hurts and it's terrifying because then I feel more restricted because I can't just be a guy and go to the boys' bathroom and whatever because there are parts of me that are too feminine for people to accept. And it doesn't help that still the same body, and I haven't gone on testosterone, and I probably won't be able to go on testosterone, or do anything to further my transition, until I turn 18. And until then, I still have a body that says female. But, I'm fighting. <laughs> I'm fighting for my femininity. Like me from last year could have heard like like heard me say that. Uh, like old me would be so confused. <laughs> Why are you fighting for your femininity? You're a guy. Fight for your masculinity. But anyway, I think I've taken up enough of your time. So that being said, um, I will be posting in the near future a song that I wrote. I have to play around to see if I want to put it on piano or guitar. I don't know which one I prefer yet, because I haven't really played around with the piano yet. Um, but it's about low self-esteem, and it starts out kind of, like, not good, but then, um, gets better. So, stay tuned. And if you like this video, or comments, feel free to do that because I live for comments, I live for all of your feedback, and if you for some reason want to see more of this and whatever else I decide to post, um, click the subscribe button, and that's all for today.